All right, we are back with more inscription. and We are about to dive into Act 3. Um, we have no money left over. Which makes sense. The game basically reprogrammed itself. I mean, it ran the whole, like, boot screen and everything. And open this. <clears throat> I think we already saw this, but I, ac I accidentally exited. Or it restarted when it was in sleep mode. Because the game had to relaunch, but either way. Uh, Botopia used to be safe for travelers. Now rogue bots block all the major roads. You're not used to seeing five lanes, are you? Unless she could never pull that off. So, like, confirm in there too, like, <clears throat> the opening cabin sequence was Les Leshy's world, basically. He somehow had, like, overtaken the game, which is why you couldn't hit new game when you first start the game. In reality, when you open Inscription, you can't start a new game. It's not until you beat Leshy that you can go back to the main menu, start a new game, the game boots up, quote-unquote, normally, into the world we were just in, the, <clears throat> the like, Super Nintendo world. <clears throat> When PO3 fought us and put that glitchy thing on the board, we saw the boot screen happen again and woke up here. So this is like PO3's takeover. And he's going to change shit, obviously. We saw from the board. We now travel on like a little 3D world. Although it's only overhead directions up, down, left, right. But there's five lanes now. And if you hadn't chosen his deck in the beginning or used his energy cards, really, um, in Act 2 at all. This is going to seem like a very new, weird system to you. But it's entirely based on energy. Which you guys got to peek at because we did choose his cards and we've had to consider energy in Act 2 as well. Whereas the first time I played Act 2, I didn't really... I don't remember using many robot cards at all, really. I used a lot of bone cards that time. Like a ton of them. It was pretty fun. Also, your new, um, not really squirrel, but your new free card. Like, in Leshy, you could draw from your deck of cards, or you could draw a squirrel. You have an empty vessel deck that you can draw from, or you can draw one of your cards. Um, they at least have two defense, I'll say that. But they do cost energy to put down, unlike squirrels. Worlds were just free. So he'll give us an extra energy next round. Let's do this for now. Also, they shoot now. Uh, I'm gonna draw a vessel. Hmm. Play the energy bot and I believe we have a hammer. We do. Okay. So we can get rid of cards if we need to. I should take Wait, what does this ability do? First time a card bearing the sigil would take damage, prevent that damage. Uh, wait a minute. I kinda wanna put that in front of the bomb, but I think I should wait until the card goes down, right? Because then it'll blow up his B. won't block the flying guy anyway. Hmm. 
guys and kill one of these guys right now. I'm going to get rid of Put the shield bot down over here though. My plan for the bomb is to use the double gunner in two turns. Okay, it's 2-0. I, I, I don't even know what my last card is, but I feel like I need to take empty vessels right now. <clears throat> All right, one more. I think next round I can safely take a, a different card, though, because we need all six for the double gunner. Oh, the sniper bot, right, okay. Sniper bot's another good one that could have sniped the explode bot from anywhere. Just don't put it directly in front of the exploding bomb, because this will do 10 damage to everything around it. Um, which is why the double gunner is good, because he'll hit it from diagonal, so that shouldn't hurt him. And this flying guy can't attack him, so I can keep doing 2 damage with him. Use this a defense spot, that's fine. Okay. Um, sniper here. I guess we'll just put the vessel down for sure it takes. See, I can pick any with the sniper. Not bad. We earned four dollars. It's actually dollars now. That's cool. The best defense? Other bots. You carry spark that can uh, reactivate old bots. Add them to your deck, you know? Then they fight for you. Okay. Ooh, sentry drone. So this is interesting. When it gets hit, flips its stats. So, say you hit it for one damage, it becomes a four attack, one health card. If you hit it again, well, it'll probably die, but say you increase its base attack and it has higher health when it flips, it'll still, um, it'll keep going back and forth. It'll keep flipping them, if it can survive that many. With its current stats, it'll only survive one hit, usually. Uh, well, I mean two hits. It'll get a more powerful attack for one round, but its next uh, hit will kill it, usually. Swap its power and health, yeah. This is good because it's cheap, and it does one damage to anything being put down. It doesn't let that card activate its ability if it kills it. The shield bot is also very good. Not that expensive. We already have a shield bot, so I kind of want to take the drone. <coughs> Notice how there wasn't an arrow there? I hit left and it worked. So always try that. Always try, like, I'm hitting left and up right now. It's not doing anything, though. So we'll go down. Bonus money. Okay. Up. Can we go up or right? No. You'll need more than a few reactivated bots. That is, if you truly wish to enact the Great Transcendence. Botopia is some of the most OP items just lying around. <laughs> okay. It's just lying here. That will recharge your energy one turn. Pretty good. Extra battery. Replenish this energy back up to the current maximum. It's alright. <laughs> if you're smart, you'll use your items liberally. You'll replenish them at any waypoint, obviously. <laughs> So, instead of having to restock your items, um, you can use them, and once you reach a checkpoint on the map, 
which there are a decent amount, uh, it'll restock all your items, but you don't change items. And some of them are optional, but I think you can collect three or four still, if I remember correct. I think it's three, but there could have been a, a fourth. Um, all right, anyway. <clears throat> Next fight. Okay, so now there's a bomb on the map already. So, I think... I think I'm going to put the sentry drone down. Because I can then kill him with the bomb? Or... I can just put a vessel down. Hmm. I think we'll wait. I'm gonna use the sentry drone next round, maybe. Yeah. Okay, I think... I don't know if that'll still blow up, because usually the abilities can't go off. I'm gonna put the energy bot down. He's gonna blow this bomb up on the next turn, right here. So I am gonna take one hit here. Yeah, I can't do anything for now. Hmm. What's our other? We have a sniper in our deck still. Okay. <clears throat> All right, it did actually activate its ability. All right. I don't think they normally do. Okay, one damage. Could be worse. Okay, and both of their shields are now down. I have four energy this round. think actually hmm Did I put the shield bot in front of the bomb no <sighs> Then he dies next round. I don't think I don't know if that's really worth it. I do think And then if I do put him down from one of the other shields. Do I do the left or right one? I mean, I gotta wait two turns to use double gunner anyway, so... I think we just... I think I'm gonna put... I think I'm gonna pull the sniper next round, put him down, kill the shield bot in front of this spot, then use the double gunner next round to take out the bomb. Pull this. Actually, no, I'll just shoot the bomb. Yeah, duh. That'll kill both of them. I'm gonna put you out of harm's way. Okay. 
shoot the bomb. There. That's better. And that should be game. I probably could have gotten more money out of that, but whatever. We can try to spam money later. Hmm. So this uh, perk is new. Annoying. The creature opposing a card bearing the sigil gains one power. So you actually make the guy in front of you do more damage. Only while you're in front of him. But that even applies to things with zero attack. But he also has two damage. And can be useful in certain circumstances. We don't have a leap bot, do we? So we can't stop any flyers to begin with. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to take that. The real best way to fight back those rogue bots? Modify yours. Give them OP abilities. So this is how... Now, in this version, I believe there is no trick or Casey's mod or anything needed. You can put up to four things on any card. So you can keep modding them. It's pretty cool. Uh, but you don't... You don't take them from other cards, I don't think. We're about to find out, but I'll show you in a second. Um. Hmm. Let's see. So he's going to offer me, let's see, three options. Insta-kill. Touch of death. Sharp quills, which does one damage each time it's hit. Or, when a card bearing the sigil is played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. Battery bearer. So, that's a defensive card. Sharp Quills might be beneficial on it. Although Sharp Quills probably be better on this, because it would attack you when you get put down. If you have more health than that, it would attack you again when you hit it. Or... So, Sharp Quills, Insta-Kill, or... What's the last one? Energy cell. Energy cell could be good too. Because. Especially on a cheaper card early, it'll let us use our double gunner sooner. We have a card that does that. And we don't have a fuck ton of cards or anything crazy, so. <clears> hmm. <throat> If I put the insta-kill on this, does it insta-kill any card it uses its ability on? I don't know if that counts. I do think I want to put insta-kill on either the sniper or the double gunner. He already does two damage, though. Or I could put it on him. Because it would guarantee he can kill two cards. The first card he faces against, and then any card put in front of him will damage his shield, and he'll get at least one more crack at them. Which means he would be able to kill any two cards put down in front of him. Or that you put him in front, technically, because he did. To actually get two cards, there'd have to be one in front of him when you play him. And another takes its place after that. Whereas this... He's easy to take down, all of them are. Nobody on my team has good health. He can't attack, so insta-kill doesn't really work with him. But this would let us choose any spot to insta-kill, which I think is probably better. Putting an entry cell on another cheap card, though, would ensure that we could play these guys sooner. Hmm.
There we go. Sniper bot. Insta kill sniper. It's pretty solid. Ow. You're almost at the waypoint. Don't choke now. So there's um, bridge rails. I will say though, you can destroy these with a hammer. It will let you do that. If you f there's a reason that that would benefit you, which it, sometimes. Hmm. Now, see, it's going to kill it in one hit. I don't like that. It's too bad. I was going to say, it would actually give that empty vessel an attack ability. Uh, well, we can still make use of that. Alright. I mean, I could just put him down. But I'm gonna put. Oh. Boom. Hmm. Five energy or right, pull card. Uh I don't wanna put him down yet. Hmm. Hmm. So what I I have two points? I was gonna say, I'm gonna put this down because it's gonna end it anyway. I wouldn't put him in the middle if he was just gonna take a sh direct shot, though. Waypoint! Cool. Your items are recharged. Bots that you've destroyed in the area will stay that way. If and when you do perish, you'll be brought back here. It's an elegant system. Mm. It's alright. So this is kind of like a map when you hit X on the waypoint. This is all we have so far. Okay. There's a store? Glorious Commerce. Your Robux are accepted here. So we can get an extra card at random. We can add an ability. Uh, the other thing's a pelt, I think. And then... The thing for 26, I think that's an item, a replenishable item for battles. Unfortunately, there's no way to check. Each button it will instantly buy them, if you can afford them. I wonder if it'll tell me, if I hit X, I can't afford it. Yeah, I won't do anything. I kind of want to save up for X before I spend anything else. If we could, in theory, go get another ability, but... It also goes up, goes up in price each time you do that. Oh, a free card.
feel like for longer matches, there will be times we want cards. In theory, adding another energy cell seems good, but we don't have that many cards that that would cost two to play. Hmm. Yeah, Alright. I'm gonna try to go down. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, <laughs> got it. Alright. Found a pelt. Money. <laughs> Woof. Sorry, turn back. Oh, it's uh, the engineer lady. This bridge is totally busted. Go back. I'll need time. Beat a boss? That should give me enough time. Oof. Yep. Still broken. No fixing this thing for a while. So, similar to the world we were just in, the bridge is broken. This job? Yeah, it's going to take a minute. I bet if you defeat one of the uberbots, I bet that would be enough time to finish it up. <laughs> Alright. So, we have to go this way. We only need nine dollars right yeah nine dollars to buy the item eastern batopia not much of value out this way but you still gotta explore here you know for the great transcendence so we gotta fight i think we can go down though can i go down here no down no down no so i believe this is just a shortcut the cool thing about that is this is the spot the fight would have been in. So you can backtrack. However, if I go back one more screen, I'll show you in a minute. Alarm bot, gift bot, and busted 3D printer. Okay. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, a random card is created in your hand. Once a card bearing the sigil struck, draw a card from your empty vessel pile. So you can stock up on empty vessels for defense with this. This could be a random card though. Which could be good or bad. Let's go with chaos. I'm gonna go try going up first. And Monet's. Alright, we need seven dollars. So notice how going to the right turned into a fight again. Um but yeah, we're gonna do that because there's only every time you hit a waypoint, the past fights go away forever. So you can in theory kind of grind a little bit to get some money. But just remember that once you get to your next waypoint, you will lose those fights. Okay. Okay. Put you up for the slaughter. Draw a vessel. Um, go with the energy bot. Just use the empty vessel. Uh, yeah, why not? Just throw it somewhere. Eh, that was one off. Um, all right, I have four now. I suppose. Suppose I'll take another empty vessel. Case. I guess I could just put the empty bot or the gift card bot here. Yeah, because he has to perish for me to get the card. Just making sure I understood that card. It's been a while. Uh, busted 3D printer. Interesting. Sentry drone. I'd 
like to put the busted 3D printer somewhere too, but. Sniper bot. Because we're about to end the game anyway. I think the play is to actually put the sniper bot here. And just not hit the alarm clock with him. Anybody else here do damage? No. Okay. Fair enough. We got two, four, and then we'll just hit that spot for six. Ooh, we need two more dollars. Are you wondering about that star? You've been winning a lot. Now you got a bounty on your head. It's sure to attract bounty hunters. It resets when you die, though. Um, and there is another fight right here. And now we have star overhead. So we'll we'll see what that means at some point, I think. <clears throat> Whether we want to or not. The only downside to getting expensive cards is when it throws them to you fucking right off rip. draw a card because I do have a leap bot. Okay, no, that... That's good. That's good. We'll speed up how fast we can use these other guys. Actually, I don't think I'm going to put him down. I'm going to wait. Yeah. So I got an alarm bot. Alarm bot, leap bot. Five energy total. It needs to get hit the hardest here. If I do it to him, it's gonna... Make him stronger. When he flips his health and his attack, it'll give him more health. I think I should... because it'll hit the guy behind him. And then... Vessel... Leap bot. And then we might use the energy cell on the next turn and play both of our sixers. Oh, there's a uh, bounty hunter. That was quick. 
The name's Wilkin McCrust, and I'll be taking that scalp of yours. Nothing personal, kid. Alright, so that card will play next turn. Alright. Insta kill, and it moves in front of damage. Um, I'm gonna draw a card. Ooh. So, I'm gonna put the by gunner. I'm gonna put the body gunner here. No. I, say I put the body gunner here because he's in front of a leap bot. Can't attack him, but the I'll hit the bomb that'll blow that guy up anyway. Hmm. Peace. I'll be taking that scalp another day. Ain't seen the last of Wilkin the Crust. I don't know about all that. Beautiful. <clears throat> so that little red clock symbol, um, you'll see. Let me guess what you're thinking. Go back to the waypoint, refresh your items, maybe go to the shop. I actually want you to win, but it can't be that easy. You can go back to the waypoint, but all the rogue bots you've cleared in this area will respawn. So, you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Alright, hit that, got our item. We're gonna buy the... Whatever this is. Gives nano armor to your bots on the board. Decent. Uh, so it'll give all of uh, the cards on your side that are... Um, any cards currently on your board will get shields, so they can all take one hit without dying, without anything happening, really. Now, I could take the shortcut here, but uh, might as well get our money up, not our funny up. <laughs> Ignore me. Alarm bot.
Oh, you know what? Yeah, not right now, but I want to try something. Oh, of course he puts one right there. Fuck you. Fuck you. That's ridiculous. Uh, what I want to do is break this. You get the card, see? So you don't necessarily have to wait for him to do it. So the only thing about this is in Act 3, it alters every turn. So it doesn't stay evolved. I was just thinking about that. So I'm about to do 4 damage anyway. Might as well try to stack the board. I don't really want to use any items though, because I'm just trying to get through this area. So I'm going to break this and I'm going to put the sniper here because then the sniper is going to be in front of the leap bot. Wait, wait. No, that doesn't make any sense. No, uh, okay. Ye yes, it does. I got to kill this guy this turn. But I do want to take this spot. I was thinking I was going to use the sniper to blow up the chain of bombs once this is down because that would also kill him, but I forgot the sniper can just kill him outright. I don't need to wait. I do want the bonus card though. Or I can wait until it kills that. Just put defense down for now. Sniper bot, actually. How much do I have? Four? I think I'm just going to use the normal. No. I could just blow up the string of bombs now. 
Probably should. But this means I can also kill him if I choose to. Kill the shield bot with my sniper. I'm kind of curious what happens if I shoot him with the sentry drone. I think it's going to flip his health and attack and make him demolish my sentry drone, but maybe not. Could be useful though, because it sacrifices the sentry drone and makes him very easy to kill with any card you put in front of him next, though. So I do want to test that, even though we don't necessarily need to do that, because we have a we have a deadly sniper on the field. Okay, so it did. Even though it's not necessarily my attack or my turn there, it now makes it so I can kill that card without it ever having really um, done anything to me except taking that sentry drone out. That is potentially very useful. I'm gonna put the bolt hunt down. It's not going to end the turn. Ooh, double gunner. Nice. About to make some dolos. Nice. We have enough to get a uh, free upgrade. Another star on your head, your bounty is higher. Bounty hunters of a higher caliber may come calling, so tougher cards. Alright, uh, we got a card to choose. Explode bot. The only thing, I don't like using these, <clears throat> like I talked about in Act 2. I don't like using these in our own hand, because it demolishes three things on your side. I'm sure there's a time and a place, but for the most part, that's like, deadly to be around. <laughs> But like, I don't really need another gift or... I guess gift bot is cheap and does give you a random card. Whereas this could take out pretty much anything in front of it if I have nothing else I can do. But what if I have to put it down to stop someone and it's in the middle of cards I need? I don't like that. Nah, nah, nah. I'm good on <laughs> good on that, I think. Alright. So that guy's electrified, which is why he has three attack. It powers you up. When you electrify your cards, which is like one of the upgrades you can get, it makes it so if it dies, it's gone forever though. But it does make it stronger. It makes it fragile. <clears throat> Okay. Hmm. Oh, another bounty hunter. Oh, honey, don't cry. I'm zip my gun. I'll make it swift. Call me honey. I hoping I would pull the uh, sniper. It's alright. Put gift bot down. And play it out of turn. 
Alright, we do have a shield bot we can use, so we'll draw a card. Hmm. It's only going to be a temporary band-aid, but that's okay. Do I want to put the sentry drone down? No. Not yet. Doesn't look like he's going to play a card in that last spot. Although I won't be able to play it next time. I'm going to play it now. Next time I'm gonna- oh my god, he has the fucking alter ability. That's perfect. I forgot about that. Why did I get a B? Oh, from the random card. So a B does cost zero energy, which is nice. Um, And the shield bot was perfect, because now he's alternated, and the shield bot can kill him. Even though he just did 12 damage, it was shielded. I'm gonna put the B down. No. Yes. Um... I put the B down... Unless... I don't think it does damage to the player. I was going to say, if it does t 10 damage to him for empty spots, I would do that, but I don't think it's worth killing it. Because the bee won't attack it, but it will defend. I guess we could get rid of the sentry drone. Or, crazy idea here. Ah, ouch. It's all right, darling. <clears throat> Remember the name Zip a Gun. I'll be back. Just be careful with her, because she can do 12 damage. If she hits you directly, you're you're in trouble. Hmm. I'm going to destroy the gift bot. Ooh, we got a swap bot. But I believe this will be the last... Oh, wait, no. Hmm. It's five to one. I only need one point to win, so I should probably just put him down. And then kill you. Waypoint. Items recharged. Bot spawner is 100% offline. Oops. Hmm. It's weird. The power is dead on this old thing. I'll let you get up if you go get a new battery.
All right. We are free to explore. You're allowed in the inspection room only. Just give me the battery from the inspectometer and come back. Okay. Back in a 3D world. Print progress. Okay. One, one, alarm, sniper. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, oh, how annoying. The other scribe's junk sometimes glitches in here. Try to ignore it. I didn't realize that you could do that right away. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> um. So we'll keep that in mind. I think this... What was the... Oh, shit. What was the solution in the first part? I think it was 11. Okay. An air symbol. Okay. I wish I could remember what the other one was. Whatever, we'll just, uh, we'll play it normally. I wish I, if, if I remember the solution, though, I would do it. <clears throat> if you can, I, maybe you can't. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I remember where to find the solution. A card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature. All right, this is just your rule book. All right, let's. We got more puzzle boxes. It's funny, there have been puzzle boxes in every mode. Like bombs, interesting. Okay, I can't. Can't move these. This will be protected from one blow. Which means it will do one damage. And then this will do four, because this will get blown up. Right? Right. Oh, Mrs. Bomb's remote. Sure, take it. Drops bombs on every empty space. Tactical board wipe. Don't be stupid about it. So, kind of like the Mrs. Bomb card from Act 2, that will fill every empty spot on the board with bombs. Which now we have seen a lot more of these. Ooh, these. I remember this fucking thing. So, this. You can't look at sigil meanings while you're in the puzzle. I do recommend, instead of just trying to brute force that one, looking up what the fuck that means. Because then it makes a lot more sense. Gem Guardian, uh, all gem vessels on the owner side of the board gain nano armor. Gem Detonator, when gem vessels on the owner side of the board die, they detonate. The creature opposing them as well as Jason Friendly are dealt with 10 damage. So, Gem Detonator. This is considered a gem. Hmm. No? Maybe one of them has to die. Wait, no. That should stay. I think you have to kill one of them with this on it. Maybe. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. I don't want that there. It's saying anytime a gem dies, cards with this on it will also die. They'll blow up, right? No. How am I still fucking this? <laughs> hmm. Uh, wait, maybe that's why. Yeah, because then this is blowing this up.
I know this five is how you get through it, but I don't... When gem vessels on the owner side of the board die, they detonate. This is not going to kill this. Maybe they have to be gem vessels next to card with that icon on it but then how can we get Wizbot. Okay. Ah, is it? Who are? Is this stimulation? Something other than darkness? Many thanks. Do with me what you will. Anything but that infinite darkness. So that was one of Magnificent's uh, wizard pupils we fought in the tower in Act Two, because he had the uh, sensory deprivation test. Who knows how long he'd been stuck like that? Um. All right, so that's good. Uh, yeah, so if you want to, because I kept killing, I wasn't thinking about the fact I'm killing this card, so his, so this thing's not gonna blow up because this guy's gone. I just had to get rid of that. This you could still, um, this you also can't attack. I mean, because it'll blow this up, which then by the because it goes from left to right, in the order you would play cards. Uh, so you can only be attacked. You have to have this guy next to this. This one doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure if you did this, it would still be five. Yeah. So the first column doesn't matter. Just make sure the second, this guy's here not being attacked. This guy's here being attacked. Because this is what explodes, but only when he's next to one of these little, that's what the arrows mean. So instead of, uh, so both the activation ability and the detonation itself, um, have to be next to each other. God, I think I know what that is. I think it's another solid number. Oh, I left those things turned off? That's fine. Just solve some easy puzzles. Uh, don't tell me what to do. What's with the fucking camera? Look familiar? Doing puzzles to get bridges? Rotate the sigil until it is upright.
Caption test. Select all squares that contain cards. These are... That's an empty card spot. That's not cards. That is... Not... Anything. Maybe a photo of something? Select all squares that contain cards. That's empty. That's empty. Corrupted. Corrupted. Card. Card. Select all squares that contain cards. This is Act 2 versions of the cards. That's a card. That's a card. No. Yes. Yes. All right, we did it. We did it. Woo. Okay. Chest. Do anything? A oh, fish bot. Found me. Good. Robot fish hide me. Revenge for last time. Bad fish. It's the fisherman. That's awesome. So instead of like Leshy's cabin where he had turned the other scribes, his equals, into cards, we have the subordinates who are now cards. Yep, that's it. Bring it over. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Which is kind of... I do remember those cards being useful. Also, especially for how early it is, it's good to have those cards. Uh, okay. Yep, thanks. Alright. Onward and upward. Alright. Uh, so we are back to... I'm gonna go up or down. I don't remember if it matters. Revolting. Yeah, sorry that you have to see this. It's the last area in Botopia that still has life in it. That stinking, squirming mass of imperfection. Hmm. Before we do that, uh, X. pick one of your cards. So, what is Fishbot? <clears throat> he gives you a random card. I don't think his cards are random. Just keep that in mind. I believe they're... They can be an absurdly powerful fish, or like a timed fish, or... Different things like that. Um, right. Choose you for now, and let's see what the abilities are. Okay. Air defense. Sniper ability. Stinky. Hmm. Maybe putting Stinky in front of him, because he can't attack the space directly in front of him, would be good. <clears throat> Help protect him. Or I could give Sniper to the bear, so every other turn he does four damage. Or I could give Sniper to one of these guys. I don't think I'd give Sneak Stinky to him, because he has to die to give you the next card. Yeah, he has to perish. Okay. 
And I don't have anyone else I think I would put... I mean, maybe a gift bot having a air defense ability would be good. So he'll take the hit no matter what's in front of him. Same for shield bot. But I think of these choices... I mean, I could put Sniper on him, so even when he moves left or right, it doesn't necessarily matter. I wonder if you can snipe both of his hits when you do this. If you put Sniper on a guy with Bifurcated or Trifurcated Strike, do you get to choose where all the hits go? Um... I think that will benefit him. We'll see. <clears throat> Not the best selection. Uh, the next one costs 15. All right. Um. Ugh. It's dank. This dank scrapyard is pretty unpleasant. Its inhabitants grasp and claws seek fresh bots. Watch your ankles. So this one is like the cemetery lane? Bomb Latcher, Shield Latcher, or another Double Gunner. So the Bomb Latch, when this card dies, it can put a Bomb Detonator on any card. So when that card dies, it, it explodes. You can put them on opponent's cards. Same for shields, so careful with that too. So you don't want to accidentally shield your enemy. Or you do, but just keep in mind you can. The bomb latcher, maybe. Hmm. I feel like that usually seems more appealing than it is, whereas this doesn't really have a downside. I'm gonna go shield. <laughs> Maybe you don't really need to shield someone on your side. It never hurts to shield them, right? Um, yeah, right. We'll start this way. I was going to go back up to the north. Side. Must find other scribe fish, too, deep beneath. Okay. Tombstone, which has the symbol on it, meaning I can't attack it. Even if I'm, like, diagonal. Any attack as that card will not work. Bombs might. I'm gonna put him here. You are bait. I wanna see what happens when I get the card from him dying.
That's gonna free up him to come down. It's not great. Hmm. Is. Oops. That's all right. So I got more fish. Give me for two. So I gotta put more fish down. Have it get attacked. Him with the sniper. Should put the Grizz down now. So, also, he doesn't move. Uh, his ability, I forgot. It's Clinger. That's new. When one of your creatures is placed in a space, a card bearing the sigil will move towards them as far as possible. So, if I put Energy Bot down and nothing else was between them, he would have moved all the way in front of this guy. Uh, that's the only time he moves, though. And that's why he turned towards this card just now. But um, So, this is going to end the game. Yeah. So, I wanna, I'm going to break this card. Bad fish. So, I think... It, it, after attacking, it breaks, and it's annoying. It's funny. I guess I'll just put it down. So, I think that's because I did that. Like, if... Although, I, it could be random. But you can get really powerful ones, too. But it's... It depends. Um, yeah, alright, whatever. All right. Uh, ooh, this is a cool one. I'll overclock one of your cards. Give it an attack buff. But if it dies, it's gone forever. I think the Grizz is probably the safest one to deal with because he has high health. Not to say that he couldn't get one shot by something. Overclock. Card bearing the sigil has increased power, but if a card bearing the sigil perishes, it is permanently removed from your deck. So to give it one attack, and then when it becomes a grizzly, I believe it will be five attacks. Let it die. Um, I guess we'll just keep exploring this area since we started it.
Do you remember the name, darling? It's Sit McGun, and I'm far from dead. Oh. Cleared the shield and then blew him up. I'm just gonna kill him with this guy. Ouch! It's all right, darling. Remember the names of my gun. I'll be back. Attack, so. Uh, I guess we just let it run. So this guy will make somebody brittle, meaning they'll break after their next attack. Because it's being put on a card that's already on the board. got two guys that are brittle. Okay, shitty. Um, hmm. Okay, so <clears throat> what I was curious, if I put the wizard here, and then put another card here, and it pulled them into the spot, would that also cause this to fire? And the answer is yes. It just says any card moving into the spot in front of him. So, let's keep that in mind. Um, So I think if I put the shield latcher down, hmm. If I put the empty vessel down in front of the gun, he'll move over. Then I should be able to put the shield latcher down where he was. 
and he won't get hit by the insect droid. Okay. Now we put the shield latcher down. That'll take the hit, and I'll put a shield on the wizard, I guess. But see, I can put it on these guys, too. <laughs> hmm. It sucks to get him now because the next round I'm gonna have six anyway, so it doesn't really benefit us. But else we can really play. Double gunner. I don't think there's a way I can really do more. No. If I refill my energy and put the bullet hound down, I will get five dollars out of this. But that's good. So I think. The symbol below me means checkpoint. So if you don't want to restart or like lock the bots behind you, um, you would have to go back now. You wish to pass this ice? Well, I suppose I could clear it. A little bit of heat should do the trick. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, hey, look. Secret area to the left here. Um, left. Go up or down. Oh, just some dolos. Nice. That's actually a decent amount. So he just broke the ice. Is there anything over here? No, it's just a shortcut. Okay. Um, eh, we'll continue on. I'm not the trader or anything. But there's gonna be a little give and take here. You have to trade one of your cards for one of these. Oh, it's uh, an event, my bad. Not really? I guess we'll take another one of these. What should we get rid of? I could just do nothing. Keep this one. Just swap them for each other. Hmm. I don't really care for the insect droid. Shield Latcher has his benefits, but it's... Hmm. 
Fuck it. Get rid of the insect. <clears throat> Robo bucks. So we are coming up on the waypoint though, but that was a mandatory path we had to take. Um, four Robux. But if, an ability, considering it costs 15 at the store now, that's definitely worth it. Um. Uh, excuse me. Let's see what, what's on offer here. Undying. That's a good one. Quills and guard dog. Okay. Is there another card I want undying? I wonder if that's a way to cheat the electrified system. Because it would make a copy of him in your hand when he dies. Hmm. Um... I mean, we could give it to him. Upping the ability to get more fish cards from him. Put it on him, because he only has one health. That would really benefit us. Um, or we could put it on him to guarantee that we have a one-shot kill on guys. I almost think the double gunner should get it because of how I gotta put stink on him so he can protect himself in some situations hmm if I put on him in theory, I could keep adding energy. It's kind of redundant, but... I'm gonna do one of these two. This is tempting because he gives you something when he dies. You know what I mean? I'm just not sure how it would interact with this one, so I'm a little scared to put it on that and have it get wasted. If the card just dies, dies. No matter what you do, like if overclock supersedes other stuff. This is really tempting because then he's not he's not really stoppable as a card. By the time you can play him, you should be able to play him next round if he dies. He's already got decent defense, plus you want him to die. <sighs> if we manage to get another Undying, and there's not new cards by then or different choices, then maybe we'll put it on the, the Fisherman. Every unit on this one will be able to take much more. I think you can only do one more. Alright, we got one more fight. We should definitely use our items. Because there's gotta be a waypoint after this one.
fuck. Rust Platson reporting for duty. My mission, eliminate target, collect bounty. After that, maybe start a small business. Bed and breakfast, something nice. Settle down, find a partner, manufacture some children. Grow old, pass the business to my children. Rust away content with my, content with my life's work, surrounded by family. But first, eliminate target. I am going to use the sniper after this. Die, insect. Longer we keep that bomb latcher alive, the longer keeps that guy, the double gunner, from coming down. I kind of want to put more fish down. I guess we'll wait one turn. Peace out. I will tell my future children of this moment. We will laugh together about it one day. I don't know about all that, buddy. Um, shield bot. All right, I'm gonna put more fish down. And shield bot. I'm not going to kill the bomb latcher with the sniper though, because I want him to hit the fish, and the double gunner won't. Ah, oh, we got a bad fish again. Oh. curious about. I shoot this. I can. Okay. See, that makes him completely useless. No, this guy's not gonna... I might as well just break him. A 
But luckily, I'm not going to attack either of those. <clears throat> Waypoint. Items are replenished. And those bots back there are permanently offline. Okay. What a depressing abode. You have to be here to defeat the resident Uberbot. But I don't think you'll want to stay long. Oh, actually, I didn't really... I really want to overclock anyone else. Hmm. I think I'm gonna look it up. Fuck it. I've played this game before. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, okay. Uh, so it makes a copy in your hand for the match you are in. That's it. It dies. It deletes it from your deck, though. So. Well, fuck. Can I back out? as he intentionally moves in front of empty spaces. So, like, he's trying to die. This guy has a shield. It would make him a two-hit guy. Or we could do this guy and just strategically not put him in danger whenever possible, but there's always going to be some time. It sucks. I should not have clicked on that. I don't like overclock that much, to be honest. It's fine. Um, I don't really like the bolt hound to begin with, so whatever. Make it a little bit better until it's gone. I believe that means we have to recycle a card to go that way. What's up here? Halt! We require commitment to pass. You must agree to grant access to the Archivist. Do you agree to grant access? It is important. You must sign this contract. Oh, you cannot sign the contract. You don't have a writing utensil. <laughs> Alright. Fight here. Fight and a... Good fight.
It's like worst case scenario, because now he kills the... Damn it. Yes! Yes! <laughs> you got very happy there. So we got good fish. It has the turret ability, uh, the sharp quills ability, sniper, and it can block air attacks. It's pretty dope. Put a shield on my sniper. Thank you. Did it just give me another gift bot? That's too funny. did an attack directly to me. That alarm clock is the worst thing to have in front of that bee. I think I should just... I think I should just play this round the way it is. Because it's tied. Or... That gives us one more turn. That's why I did it that way. Unfortunately, we didn't get any cards to play. But, let's see if this gives us another shot at some extra damage. Nope. Oh, that's, that's fun.
nice. What's oh, the well? We got a quill. It's a writing utensil. And some money. Okay. Would I want to trade any of my cards for another card? I want to put it in front of him, but I, I'm worried it'll kill it before he does his thing. Hi, game. Six bucks, not bad. Money. Money. What's behind this door? One of the keys we got opens this, but there's something that happens. I feel like there's a way to change this interaction and see more of it, but I don't remember. I don't know what it is, so we're just going to do it. Where did you get that? Ah! You found me here, so you wish to know more. I have meditated deeply on the old data. I will impart my insights, but you mustn't record them. Camera. Actual camera. Cuts out there. What the fuck, man?
That is everything I know. Whatever it was. PO3 and Luke both uh, thrown off quite a bit. Wi-Fi connection lost. What? That's creepy. Doesn't seem like my Wi-Fi was lost anywhere else. What the fuck? Okay. okay. Maybe my computer's actually possessed? By the old data? So I think there's a way to see what he says. But I, fr I don't know. I could be making that up. But maybe on subsequent playthroughs, you know, give it a try. Maybe look it up. I feel like I remember seeing someone say there's more to that as part of the um, augmented reality version. Or like the game within a game going on. But either way, it's pretty trippy. So the Lord of Bones made a return and told us something terrifying. Hmm. Ready to trade? Give me a better fucking card this time, maybe. So he just breaks, but... I don't have any of that. He basically acts as similar over two turns. Hmm. I think I, bet, I think I do like it better than the alarm bot. Swap it out for a gift card so I have like a kamikaze attack card, I guess. Got another one. Um, have we used any of our items? No. I guess we could just go to the boss here. You brought a fine quill. Please sign here that you agree to have access. Thank you. Do not forget your agreement. Hmm. Probably shouldn't sign agreements you don't read. Not that we don't all do that. Any items are back online, bot spawners offline. So you can't fight the bots anywhere in this territory any longer. <clears throat> there it is, the uber bot you saw. These idiotic librarians worship it as it sits here covered in filth and grime. Ready to clean it up? So this is his version of Grimora, or at least, at least the boss in her territory, the archivist. Unpacking archivist.z. Applying personality matrices. Cleaning up some temp files. Okay, here we go. Ah, greetings. If you had not gleaned it from the title of my zip file, I am the archivist. I eagerly await the opportunity to explore your hard drive. Wait, what? Files and directories are my specialty, you see? Oh, luckily you're on my PlayStation. Mighty Leap and Dead Bite. When a card bearing this sigil pairs to select a file, place damage on the scales according to the file size. Okay.
Hmm. Oh, I should have inquired sooner. You will need to grant me access to your hard drive. Would you please acquiesce? I assure you, no harm will come of it. Grant inscription.exe permission to access your hard drive. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter what you switch to, it says yes. Now, do recommend an exemplary file to me. And do take into account its size, its magnitude, its bulk. So, the first time I did this, I thought, okay, well, I don't want to give him points, so I'll choose a small file. But in the end, turns out that you're, you, the larger the file, the better in actuality. So, me.jpg, me question mark.jpg? Why'd you have a question mark in there? These are all multiple megabytes a piece for that one. Me again, good one. So, because I'm playing on PlayStation, it really, mostly it's showing Luke's hard drive. But I'm wondering if on PC, it, maybe it, it'll it let you also choose from yours. Or it's just the in-game PC, that which is Luke's, because there's a lot of Lucky Carter files on here. Oh, these, these videos are massive. Um, don't look in here. Tomato audit. Two gigabytes. Tomato audition? Two gigabytes. <laughs> he opened the file. It's a song. So you've chosen this technique of this racket. Enough. My word, this file it is. I may say it's colossal. Bravo. Um... Again, do choose a file. It's file styles will be fire mount. curious what this is. Uh, what was that? Think nothing of it, let us continue. Well, that was kind of not worth it. I couldn't tell what was on the screen. It's messed up. Um, alright. Now go along and suck the file. Let's not dwell on it. Oh, this file demands attention. It appears to be weighing about two damage. Bravo. So I have five. Should I have like five then, at least, already? Oh, I meant uh, I meant to hit square there. That's all right. Choose a file. I think we should go back to the videos. We already did the don't look in here file. What is this? One gigabyte? It's, a, it's gargantuan! You're not wrong. Please select the file. This one, however, is very special. Choose a file that is dearest to your heart, and one that shows age. One, oh no, that one file said 1010. 10, the date was fucked up. 
like 1010. We already used it. In theory, you could get rid of your system file, which would be kind of funny. Super Weasel Kid, 2004. This article 1010. Do you think if I use that, it'll actually act like the age is, or should I just go with the one that I know is 1999? Hmm. This does say 1010. I think this is related to the shit behind the game. There's like something to that, I feel like, because why is it under what the fuck? Ten seven. Okay, yeah, I kind of have to use this. I know somebody whose birthday is 1017. I didn't even look at that for a second. Yeah, let's try it. A strange visage to be certain. Let us move on past it. Now let us place that file on a card. You didn't choose a file that was too dear, did you? For if this card dies, I will delete this file from your disk. Shall we see what that looks like? This, this file is most ancient indeed. It has seen things. A stat line of 4-4 four, four is only appropriate for an August, uh, an August, how would you, August file such as this. If it dies, the file, the hostage file will die. That's funny. I wonder if it, I, I highly doubt it would actually break your computer, but that'd be kind of funny if it could. Four damage to start. I wasn't gonna at first, but I think I'm going to. But I'm not gonna hit him for the fifth quite, quite yet. All right, we got a good fish out of that. Nice. So many files. So much stimulation. He makes somebody brittle, so we gotta be careful of that motherfucker. Um, might as well. Money, money, money. Eight bucks, nice. I thought I had you. Oh well. You made a few correct deck building decisions, I guess. And you're lucky. <laughs> Got him. Alright, that's the first one. I forgot technically they the order that they appear on the monuments is if you went bottom right. Top right, bottom left, top left. I always go top, bottom, top, bottom. I don't I don't know why. Actually, I always go top, bottom, bottom, top. In Act 2, at least. I start with Leshy, do Grimora, then I do the Magic Tower, then I do PO3. But it seems like the, the order, if you went by the order that they appear in, you would do it... You would do it bottom, top, top, bottom. So you'd still do a rotation, but in the opposite direction. Oh, fuck, I forgot about this. Remember your side deck? That useless thing with all the empty vessels? It 
It's about to get less useless. Hell yeah. Your pick will be installed in every empty vessel card. So we can make them more defensive. Have a shield. So they can take one free hit. Plus they'll have two health. Or give them quills so they do one damage back. I almost think this makes them the ultimate defender. Hmm. I like the quills though, because it gives them offensive ability. Because like think about how many times we can only put an empty vessel down on the first turn until we have more energy. But it would also make them perfect. They would be good at defense against anything if I give them the flying. We haven't seen too many flyers, though, that are, like, really dangerous. Everybody a shield. Eh. If I could give them a shield and quills, that would be pretty cool. But... Yeah, I think we're going to go close. I think we're going to go close. I'm not sure that was right, but they all have sharp quills now. That's cool. So you get to uh, increase your empty, like, ability of your empty vessels. Memory card is full. Time to, uh... Put a new battery in the camera. I think this is a good stopping point. Um, we're not halfway through Act 3 yet, but that's okay. We might split Act 3 up into three parts. Because if I remember, there's... There's like an extra... There's like more to it. I feel like during and after. But... It might make more sense because I, I haven't recorded for a very long time already. Let's watch these. <clears throat> well, hello there, card gamers. Um, Looks like my garage sale hunting days have finally paid off. Yeah. Yeah, baby. What you guys do this? You know what that is? You know what that is? Vintage packs of inscription. Four of them. I don't know if the woman knew what these are worth. I mean, I felt a little bad buying them off of her. But I mean, she's probably doing okay living in this part of town. I mean, it's like, it's a nice part of town, you know? And uh, she would have thrown them away if I hadn't come by. Right? Right. Okay. Big pack opening video incoming! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> Still going out of his way to find packs of uh, inscription. Or no, that one's from 10 too. That's before shit got weird. And the lady showed up at his house. Um, which was around like what, the 15th or 16th of October, based on the old videos? Something like that. Hello, is this Mrs. Hobbs? Hi, my name is Luke. Well, it's very nice to speak with you as well, Mrs. Hobbs. Um, listen, I was at your garage sale the other day and I... No, no, everything's fine, thank you. Um, I was just wondering if you remember those playing cards that you sold me, those... Yes, yes, those ones, inscription, yes. They were your daughters? Would it be possible for me to speak with her? She passed, isn't she? Oh. Oh, no, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, it was a while ago. That's still terrible. Oh, it, it's nothing really. I'm, I'm sorry to have bothered you, ma'am. Her name was Casey. That's a lovely name. Sorry, what? She worked for inscription? I mean, she worked for Game Funa? Ma'am, would it be possible? I see. Okay, yeah. Um, do you think it'd be all right if I called you back later? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of something. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. All right, have a good dinner. Very interesting. 
I do need to uh, beat Casey's mod, or at least beat, beat it more. Because I'm that you get journal entries, and I'm wondering now, because we found also Luke should I should ring a bell with him technically, right? Because like he's playing the game concurrently, like we're watching him play the game technically. And one of the skeletons said, "I'm named after one of the developers, Casey Hobbs." I wonder if that's clicking in his head. Um, but that's very interesting. So the person he got the cards from, including the pack that was opened and had something about a disc, uh, the location of the disc had the coordinates of the location of the disc. I mean, inside of it was a garage sale from Casey Hobbs family. I think it was Casey Hobbs I'm saying that very confidently, but Casey's family either way. Um, Interesting. Articles mentioned death or injury. Oh my god. Also, Leshy no referenced facing AC before. Casey Hobbs died from fire related complications. Fuck. Was she working on the game? She's working late at the facility for performing quality assurance on behalf of her employer, Game Fuma. That might be answered in the augmented reality stuff. I think she was on the game it just never got far enough now this one's just, this is just fucking creepy like what are you doing bro? also these are hints mirror mirror and i think it's squirrel I forget what it means, but I did know at one point. It's not it's not uh impactful for in game. But like I said uh before, if the fact that this has like binary code messages and augmented reality, which means you actually do some digging in the real world, you wanna look into it, go do that. I will say it's a bit of a rabbit hole, but it's a good time. Someone is here. Fuck this. My phone's in the other room, so if I die before I can call 911, I'd use this tape as evidence. So I think these are also some of the clues. Uh, for a second, I was going to say some of the answers to the binary, but actually, no. I thought Blood Letterbox was one of the binaries, but I, I was wrong. It's on this thing. Mycologist 22, perhaps. Mycologist 222, perhaps. important again this is for the augmented reality though <laughs> you know what i gotta wonder are any of these recordings after this moment like, when's he playing the game when are we watching because at this point now he's talked to the bone lord and got that hidden shit he didn't record i wonder if it broke him And we're back. All right. <clears throat> Actually, we got mad money. Let's go to the store. 
still have a full bounty, goddamn. Uh, 53 bucks. Okay, we can pay to get the lightning bolt. I don't really want to do that again. I think I'm going to take a random card. Considering that they have sharp quills now, getting a bunch of extra ones might be fun. I do only have one shield bot. Hmm. Hmm. So we can do it again for eight. Oh, it's still eight bucks. That's not bad. Uh, I am gonna buy the pelt. Got the money. Fuck it. Let's do it. We actually bought that hollow pelt. It's worthless. Take it to the trader and you'll see. Where's the trader? All right, we will buy one more. Pick one. How about you, Pikachu? Okay, we got an energy refill, a shield, and a fire back. Hmm. So he's got Undying on him. He doesn't really need the shield. This would, I guess it would benefit him. Also him since he's overclocked. What were the other ones? I already forgot. Shield and energy and sentry gun. So it does one damage to a card put in front of it. I think we should put the energy cell. On one of the cheaper cards, what do you think? Totally forgot this was totally forgot the vapor airs was on. <clears throat> Sentry gun, shield, or energy cell. Uh, am I allowed to put two on this guy? No, okay. Maybe... I think it's the best on a one cost card because it replaces that cost plus adds one. I also think putting a sentry gun in front of him would be interesting.
Hmm. Alright, that's alright. I don't want to buy too many cards, because we're going to get cards. Alright, we're going to go to Eastern Botopia and back to the only place with anything living in this robot world. Next time.